Okay, this is going to be a little confusing because we're recording Camtasia and trying to show how to caption it. Um, this is more of a proof of concept rather than a how-to, although feel free to try it for yourself. Um, my hope is that something better than this will be along very soon anyway and make it moot, but it's just a way to demonstrate using uh, Google Voice to caption a video that you've already created in Camtasia. And let's, let's assume that you still have the production files for your Camtasia movie. <clears throat> so in, a, in this example, I have this Camtasia video on a website. It's narrated, but there are no captions to it. So it, um, what we want to do is actually go back to the Camtasia player. Uh, I've got the same video here. And down here in the audio timeline, what I want to do first is actually bump up the audio. So I'm going to increase the audio volume, and then I'm going to use this even out volume option. And that'll make the audio a little louder and clearer. Um, those of you who have heard my videos before know that I tend to be rather quiet. So let's do a quick playback, and the sound will actually be louder, though you may not be able to hear it. So what I'm going to do now is switch over to Google Voice. Uh, this is not a, it is a free service, but you need to have an account. Um, your number is located up at the top here, so this is off screen, so it can be a little confusing, but what I'm going to do now is dial that number. You can hear it ringing, and it's going to go to voicemail. And what I'm going to do is hold the headphones up to the speaker of the phone, the microphone on the phone, so I can then play back this Camtasia video right into the microphone. So I just paused that while I was recording because it was a minute 41 seconds long. And when it was done, I hung up my phone, and we are now going to wait for Google Voice to transcribe that. So you can see the call has been placed, and that transcription is in proce progress. Now we're going to pause again and wait for it to transcribe. So here we are back in Google Voice, and you'll see that there are two separate transcripts created for two separate calls. I limited the uh, call to about 50 seconds just for simplicity's sake. If I, um, I've only tried it once, but when I did a longer full nearly two minute call, the transcript failed. So this is a one minute transcript roughly, and you'll see that there is text here. Uh, the light gray is words that it's less certain about, so you can see that there are a few in this, especially this first one. Um, since they came in chronological order with the newest at the top, the first one down here is what the first recording. So there's a little play button here, and it plays back what we've recorded in Camtasia. And then you can see as it follows along with what it thinks you've said. So you can actually fairly quickly see what problems you may have in the uh, transcription. So if you're happy with it, you can copy. And I'm going to save them both on a text file to start with. And if you'd like, you can actually go through and make some natural breaks uh, just for your own some, uh, convenience. So there are obviously some errors in this transcription, so we can go back and re-listen to this. And so I can tell that right here, he was, was a mistranscription of this video.
And I can just do this fairly quickly for all of the uh, individual issues. So I could see that the have was simply transcribing my own um as I paused looking for my next words. So you can do this fairly quickly and clean up. I'm going to do that during the pause and we'll come back to a uh, cleaned up version of the file. Okay, so I've made some changes. It took a little bit of work. There were a few anomalies. So now I'm going to select all of this text, switch back to Camtasia, and go to the Captions option. And if you're unfamiliar, you can quickly review this, or you can just watch this. So first I'm going to paste in all that text and you can quickly do some more spacing here if you would like to. This will help you choose what actually gets displayed in the, the captions uh, in the actual video. So we're going to split this just to reduce the amount of information on the screen. Now you can put a little more effort into it and have it look nice but I'm just going to do this rather quickly. What I'm going to do is tell it to start and it will start playing the video and as it progresses I just click here where um, when the playhead or when the video reaches that part of the text and it will automatically mark that text uh, and convert that into the caption. So here we go. So we've now finished that. You can modify things here if you need, but I think that will do just fine, and we will click on Finished. Uh, we can save the project file and then republish. So we'll save it, and then we will produce the video, save it for web, and it will go through the regular output that you already know about.